Welcome back, horror fans. My name's Adam. And I'm Zoe. And there's been an update on the writing of Saw 11. The writer of Saw X and the previous two Saw films to that as well, Josh Stolberg, has posted on Instagram that he's taking a break from Saw. Okay, let's just start by saying the previous two films are completely in- irrelevant. We don't, <laughs> we don't talk about those ones. I, but yes, Josh Stolberg, the writer of Saw X, has announced that he is taking a break from the Saw franchise. He hasn't specified how long for, mm. but he has let us know that he'll be working on his new indie horror film uh, called Bad Touch. That's right. He's specifically said he's moving away from Saw. He's going to be working on his own project. We don't know how long this is going to be for. So when we said the previous two movies, of course, we were talking about Jigsaw and, and Spiral. Spiral yep. And of course, Saw X, which is done very well so i mean what this means for saw we're not sure because he's, he's saying that he's taking a break and we're not sure how long this break is for i think it could mean a number of things like he could just be taking a break for yeah, a couple of months or so to get the writing down for this new film that he's doing whether he's actually exiting the the saw world i i don't know it could be that he's just leaving for saw 11 and maybe they'll write that in the background with with someone else um but i think it would be a good idea to have him write saw 11 you were a big fan of saw x so you want to see him return exactly right yeah you've, you've let it it was good enough that you've forgiven him well for, i think for specifically Jigsaw if saw 11 is going to be another prequel he's shown that he can do a prequel really well yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would say that I'd, I'd like to see Josh Stolberg stay on board. I think that uh, Jigsaw and Spiral were a bit of a flop. But I think he did what he could while trying to reinvent the franchise. Yeah. And I think that no one was really happy with the reimagination of the franchise. And I don't think anyone ever will be. I don't think they're ever going to be able to pull it off, especially without the characters from, from the original setting. Yeah, true. Um, so I think he did what he could. As, as bad as they are. Uh, but I think he justified himself in Saw X and he did a prequel really, really well. So if Saw 11 is a prequel, which we expect it will be, I would have liked to have seen him take the reins for that too. Well, it's true. We can give him a little bit of leeway due to the fact that, of course, as you mentioned, Jigsaw and Spiral, of course, kind of their own thing. So mm-hmm. it's tough to write about I guess the Saw franchise when you are not allowed to use the characters from the Saw franchise. Mm-hmm. So it was a hard ask and he's come in with Saw X and done really well. It's an interesting Instagram post of him saying that he's taking a break from the Saw franchise because this is in pretty stark contrast to a tweet that he posted right after Saw X just released. My first certified fresh movie and the fact that I got to watch it with so many amazing friends and colleagues tonight. I am in love with you all. Thank you so much for being there and sharing this night with me. Love and just wait for Saw fucking 11. And he's posted that alongside the uh, Rotten Tomatoes critic and audience score. Um, So very, very interesting that that would be something that he'd post after how well the movie performs only to post a couple of months down the track that he'll be stepping back from Saw. Exactly. So it's quite an interesting contrast. He was so excited about not just the performance of Saw X, but Saw 11 and being ready to go on Saw 11, you know, telling us, just wait till you get Saw 11. And now he's now he's turning around and saying, actually, I'm going to step back from Saw and, and write my own project. So it's an, interesting, uh, it's an interesting couple of posts coming from Josh here. I have a feeling that it might have something to do with the producers. Yep. Um, we know that the producers ha- have been the two people to tell us about Saw 11 and what to expect and what yep. to expect from Saw 12. Um, we've heard all that from the producers. So it seems like they are really sinking their teeth into the ideas of, of what they can make the Saw franchise. They're listening to the fans. They want to bring back Hoffman. They don't think the story's over. And I think both Kevin and maybe even Josh don't like where the producers have the ideas headed. I don't think maybe they agree on where they want the Saw franchise to go, but personally, from what I'm hearing from the producers, I'm all for it. I think that they're doing it purely for the fans. Yeah, really? You think that maybe the writers and the, the producers aren't quite seeing I eye have to a eye. feeling they're not seeing very eye to eye on where they want the franchise to end up. I, I definitely have that feeling. I, I think that it was pretty evident when... Uh, Gruta, Kevin, was uh, going on about how he thinks that the Saw franchise is over and it doesn't need an additional movie after Saw 10 because he thinks Mm. it closes it off very well. And then you had not even a week later the producers come out and say, here's the idea for Saw 11, this is what's going to happen, we're going to do a Saw 12. Like I think that that's very, like they're not working together and they don't have a clear picture or understanding of where it's headed. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Because the producers seemed always, all along, 
Like there would be a Sora 11. Yeah, no like there was what. a Sora 11 and they knew where it was going to be going. Like Whereas they had Kevin I- yeah. didn't necessarily like that idea. And I think that was, yeah, that was very evident. Like I thought it was very strange when we found out what the producers were saying after Kevin was so sure that they would that this would be the end of the franchise. Yeah, exactly. And uh, I guess the other thing to ask is, do you think that due to the success of Sorex, do you think that they're looking to maybe bring on a new writer or writers due to the success of Sorex and now they've got a little bit more money maybe to spend? Potentially. I think that maybe if they were having some kickback from Josh and Kevin or maybe fighting over the ideas of where Saw 11 would go Mm. and not seeing eye to eye, I don't think they would have messed around with that too much and I think maybe they've just gone, oh, we'll get someone who does see eye to eye with us. Um, And look, as, as much as I would like Josh to write Saw 11 because I think he really did a good job with the Saw um, Saw X, the prequel that they did originally. Um, I would like someone who is all about what the producers are talking about because I think the ideas that the producers have for the franchise, pure fan service. I know I'm very happy. I'm sure you're happy and everyone else is happy. So, yeah. Yeah, you're a fan of of what we've heard so far about the ideas about Hoffman film all these other things. Uh, absolutely. Obviously, at this point, we still are hoping that maybe Kevin Groot will come back absolutely, yeah. and direct it. Uh, at this moment, it's kind of hard to know if he will or not because he, like you said, has, has said that he probably thought that Sorex was the end. Mm-hmm. Um, outside of that, all we know is it seems that probably Tobin Bell may not come back and uh, effectively... As producers have mentioned, this is more of a Hoffman f- film and still a, a mid cool, let's call it. Um, it could be very interesting going forward. There's still a lot, I think, in the production side of things that this film has to go through, but Josh leaving seems to almost be like a step backwards because you think yeah. they'd be like full steam ahead pretty much yeah, on this I agree. film. Yeah, I agree. Capitalize on the, I guess, performance I of I think Sorex. Josh stepping back and maybe like the uncertainty of whether Kevin will return and obviously it's up in the air whether Tobin will return as well. I think that... As excited as everyone is for Sora 11, excited as we are, I don't think it's going to be very soon. I think it will definitely give or take a couple of years before we get to see it in action. Yeah, look, at the end of the, end of the day, it does sort of feel like at least you know they're going to take their time to make something of quality. Yeah. They're not going to rush into not it. Not only that, but if they're specifically unsure of whether Tobin's going to return or not and they've decided against him coming back, they don't really have a timer anymore. I suppose to- Tobin, you know, you've only got him for so much longer. Yeah. So there really isn't a time frame if they don't bring him back. Yeah, they want to do it right. Uh, yeah. I think capitalise while it's hot, but at the same time, yes, they're, they're not going to rush in like doing those yearly movies like they used to for sure. Uh, otherwise, guys, if you haven't seen our previous video that we just posted about building a saw trap, definitely click over uh, to that one and let us know about your own saw trap ideas. Uh, I've seen a few come through so far. There's been a lot of very interesting ones and I'm sure you guys can enjoy also reading through the comments and reading other people's, other viewers' co- uh, comments in there and there's so many, so many <laughs> traps so far already, some very convoluted ones. We've got a ones. few favourites so yes, far. Yes, there's yeah. uh, so go and have a read and go post your own if you haven't yet. Uh, if you have already, thank you so much. Uh, otherwise, guys, we'll see you in the next video. See you next time, guys. Game over.